Welcome back, everybody. Repeated police calls to Post Bar here in Dearborn have caught the attention of City Council. Two weeks ago, the city's nuisance abatement board ordered the bar to hire Dearborn police officers at their expense. Early Sunday morning, there was a brawl near the bar. Priya Mann joins us live. And uh, Priya, so did the bar have police officers on duty when this happened? No, there were no off duty officers here. The bar says it was simply too expensive. Now, their attorney says doors closed at 145. This massive fight wasn't reported until shortly after two, and it wasn't on their property. But the city says, regardless, there have been too many calls to this bar. If there's an issue going down at the post bar, not all the resources should be taxed to a point where, uh, you know, I can't get a police presence to my house. Dearborn City Council Pro Tem Thomas Telfelski says early Sunday morning, every Dearborn police officer was deployed to post bar because of a massive fight. And following numerous police runs, the establishment appeared before the city's nuisance abatement board. We tried to work out an agreement to uh, monitor hours, monitor uh, capacity, and uh, have some police officers available. The city ordered Post Bar to hire two police officers on busy nights at their expense, but Post Bar says it couldn't afford the hefty bill. Your client can't afford not to do it because your own, you're, you're operating under the new set of rules that unfortunately we had to put in place because of bad behavior. Their liquor license could now be revoked. The attorney for Post Bar says that may have more to do with Ford investing millions next door. They're about to redevelop that whole area, so a lot of these buildings and bars are going to be gone. And what the Ford Motor Company development people have to do with all of this, I don't know. We as the city need to protect Ford Motors' investment. We need to protect you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith's investment, uh, and we need to keep the public safe. And I'm standing in just one parcel of redevelopment. More than three city blocks are going to be redeveloped. Ford investing $60 million into mixed space, a mix of office, uh, retail, and residential. And I just want to show you the property manager says those two businesses right next to the post bar, that uh, Dearborn Wig and Yogurt Town, they will also be demolished as part of this redevelopment. Reporting live from Dearborn, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. So, Priya, I heard you say something about the liquor license that it could be revoked. Do we know what happens next regarding that license? Well, there's rules in place. First, uh, the city is going to have a meeting to review what was negotiated uh, during that nuisance abatement board meeting. And then in the following weeks, they will discuss whether this liquor license will be revoked. Yeah. Okay, keep us posted, Priya. Thank you.